real cooking. Remember, this is real cooking. If you don't like it, fuck off. <laughs> Hi friends, how are you doing? Just checking in with the real cooking crew. So the boys and I have just done this the other day, last Friday actually, and it was so good, I thought I'd share it with you. So we've got a couple of lamb chumps, which are lamb rump steaks, and I'm just stabbing them with this, uh, you know, carving fork all over the place. Bless you all. I'm just going to pop these into a bag. It's all sealable bag. Right there, there you go. Just wipe your hands on your top. So what I'm going to do, I've got some sunflower oil. You could use any oil you want. I'm going to put in this much. Glug, 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 glug. Bit more, keep going. How much do you think, Jack? Uh, no idea. What about you? I have no idea. You make it, we make it up as we go along. I think some of you might know that. About that much. About that much? Yeah. yeah. That much. However much that is. So into there, I'm going to put a good sprinkling of, of mince into my meaty hands. Probably one, two, Three tablespoons, I reckon. Couple, uh, three cloves of garlic. You know, a new fine, fine garlic crusher. About three quid from Asda. Let's get all the draggy bits out. Come on. Maybe even re-squash them. Oh, even more comes out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then put all that in as well. Speed up. In you go. There we go. That'll do. I've got some a couple of sprigs of fresh rosemary, which I'm going to bruise. Use the back of the knife. That's a good idea. I bet Babs is smiling at that. Love you, Babs. Throw that in as well. And a bit of this lovely salt, Himalayan sea salt. It is not sea salt. That's habit. I always say Himalayan sea salt. I want to put. I don't know, what do you think? Tablespoon? Not yep. that much in. Right, let's stir it all up into that mixture. Friends, I know this is boring, but we enjoy it. I'll just put some more oil in. Yeah, about that much. Right then. Now let's just pour it all in. Off camera, I'll get the rest of the dregs of this out. And now let's just massage it all in. All over it. Man. Right, we're going to leave this just, let's, you get the idea, don't you? You know what we're doing. So we'll leave that for about two hours in the hot sun or the fridge. And then we will sear it direct on the grill. And it's going to be really good checking, friends. I know that we're boring. I'll leave a disclaimer at the very, very start saying fast forward to this time and you can just ignore it. Or, don't forget, y'all got a fast forward button. Bye bye, friends. We'll see you soon. Right, friends. So, we've left it to marinade now for a couple of hours, which is good, just like Carling. And we've got it out. So, it grills rocking. We've taken the lid off. Now, what I'm going to do, although we've had it marinating with marinading, whatever you want to say, sorry for you uh, facetious people out there, we'll take off the bits of rosemary because they're just bake and go rubbish in my opinion let's go straight direct and we're going to keep it direct all the time and i'm going to turn it off and we're going to make sure that we get a good crust on it the inside is going to be pink and juicy and good like a fine woman there we are that'll do right friends We'll do a few intermittent shots of this. I'm just going to go wash my hands again because I haven't got my t-shirt on now to wipe them on. We'll do a few shots and then we'll uh, serve this up. Friends, so as you could see in those last couple of little clips, 
that we were getting a heck of a lot of fire. So just so that it didn't blacken up the outside too much, I did take them in direct just to get them up to a nice temperature. We're at about 120 internal uh, 120 Fahrenheit internal temperature, by the way. Oh, by the way, Jack, do you want some of this? Oh, yes, please. This is dove and wild potatoes. I'll put that on a plate for us to pick up. Ollie, do you want to? Okay, fair play. Ollie doesn't like it, but that's his loss. And we've got this behemoth of a Yorkshire pudding that I've made for us for dipping. Now, if you've never had one of these Yorkshire puddings, friends, man, this is probably the start of the show, really. And this also thick, thick, beautiful lamb, mint, bit of beef in there as well, gravy. Hmm? What? What? Come on, it's all about lamb. Oh. Oh. Nice and pink and juicy in the middle, like I said. Red hot. Seriously. Your birdie face. You right? Oh, wow. Oi. Mm. Oh. Is it good? Right, yeah. Seriously, look at that. So that was nearly all direct. Watch out, Babylon might have found us. Not a chance. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, that is some good looking lamb. Friends, we're gonna go. Let's grab a fork. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Friends, get some lamb. Make some dolphin whack. Make some yorks, put in. I'll do a vid on this. Because that is like a Yorkshire pudding that most people will probably never cook. It's easy, and I'll show you how to do it. And it's a great side when you're having some little barbecue like this. Friends, we're going to go, because the kids want to eat, I want to eat. We want to turn the radio up and have a good time, as always. Bye-bye, friends. I hope you enjoyed the instalment on how to make lamb in the marinade. Bye-bye, friends. Best lamb I've ever had. This is banging.